Well, a weather alert day is ahead for us tomorrow. And the rest of the weekend is looking dicey as well. Jason, you've got the track on all of this for us. Yeah, it's going to be multiple days that we're going to be under the gun for the chances for severe weather. And Friday well, looks pretty bad at this point. We've got chances for large hail, damaging winds, and chances for a few tornadoes as well. Main threat area is in southwestern Iowa, but that does extend into central Iowa. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that as the storms fire tomorrow. And then Saturday, Mainly late afternoon and into the evening could see some of that linger into the overnight um, and there is potential for damaging winds, hail and there is a, an isolated tornado threat there too. Sunday becomes a little bit more murky because it's going to depend on the details of what happens with the first two systems um, before we can see how Sunday will unfold, but could be another severe weather day. You look off to the west what this system's doing right now. They've got a tornado watch in place until 10 p.m. This is in western portions of Kansas, Nebraska, uh, eastern portions of Colorado. They've had multiple tornadoes that have already worked their way through and you can see that line of severe storms off to the south. So that system pushing its way our direction. Don't quite have anything from it just yet. You can see some clouds to the south. Otherwise, put together a pretty nice little afternoon here. Winds though very strong. We've seen gusts today uh, upwards of 30 35 miles per hour. That's where they sit right now. Our peak gusts up off to the northwest 41 miles per hour for Spencer. So really a breezy day. Yesterday was beautiful. Had that break from the wind, but uh, that is over and we're back into the throes of spring, aren't we? 50s and 60s across the state right now. So temperature wise, we're sitting pretty comfortably as we head into uh, tomorrow, though. Again, we'll likely start off the day with some showers and thunderstorms. Those will not be the strongest of the day, though. They could bring in some small hail, perhaps some gusty winds. Uh, as we head into the afternoon, uh, we'll have more storms work their way in from southwestern portions of the state and trek their way across the state. And it could be a little bit later, I and mean, we could, for central portions of the state, be talking even after 7 uh, that some of these storms push their way on in. So uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that as they track their way in. But uh, 1 a.m., you can see that mess of showers and thunderstorms off to the southwest. That's going to roar its way on through, bring some much needed rain across portions of the state. And uh, we head in towards the afternoon and you can already see some of that clearing through southern portions of Nebraska. That's going to make its way into Iowa. And once it does, it's not going to take much to juice this atmosphere and fire those storms off. So this line 4 p.m. may be severe and as they fire up, that's going to be one of the riskiest times for these storms as uh, so they'll have ample energy and untapped air uh, to feed from and really strengthen. So those continue to work their way eastward. You can see by six, we've got that arc of precipitation. There's still some timing differences in the models as to when these are going to roll through. Uh, but I'd say anywhere between 6 and even 8 p.m. Uh, we could see those into the metro. Those continue to push eastward and you can see some showers and thunderstorms trailing behind them. It's really the first wave. We've got more chances for strong to severe storms heading throughout the day on Saturday. You can see them off to the south there by 6 p.m. Much of the first portion of the day won't be too bad, uh, but headed into the afternoon and evening, we could again be talking about the potential for severe weather. So as we head through tomorrow again, going to be a bumpy one. Areas off to the southwest have the highest likelihood for that tornadic threat, but that does extend eastward just east of 35. I think these once these storms hit 35, they're going to weaken a bit heading to the east. So looking at Saturday, you can see the main threat down Missouri into portions of Kansas, but we will still have a decent chance at some large hail, damaging winds and the potential for a few tornadoes and the threat does not end there into Sunday again becomes a little more murky, but the the area of concern right now is that southeastern half of the state. So you're going to have to be weather aware all weekend long. We've got that weather alert day up there on Friday for you. We only issue that when we think life threatening weather may happen and there's a really high likelihood that could happen on Friday. 80 on Saturday after that temperatures down into the 60s with drier skies on Monday.